Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm making this beautiful small quilt using a quilt block called May Basket. For each quilt block, I need two two and a half inch squares and some strips that are two and a half by six and a half. And then I need some three inch squares and I'll have all of this down in the description box so you can know how many of these to cut. I needed four reds and three browns and I also need a five inch square of the brown and five inch of the background to make a half square triangles for that main basket piece and that's where I'm going to start with those two five inch squares. I'll be drawing a pencil line through the center. I'll sew on both sides of that pencil line and then when I have my half square triangles complete I will have enough for two blocks. I'll have two half square triangles and I'll save one for the next quilt block that I'll be making. After pressing these larger half square triangles, I'll trim them both to four and a half inches. Now I'm going to make all of my half square triangles. I need seven red and I need six brown, so I needed four red squares, three inches. I'll be trimming it, them down to two and a half inches and I'll have one left over. So this is just for one basket and for my little small quilt, I made four baskets. So again, this is just for one of those baskets and I will have a couple of pieces left over to use in my next block. Now I'm going to cut along that pencil line on all these half square triangles and I'll press them open and I will then trim them to two and a half inches and I should have all of the elements I need for this beautiful May basket quilt block. It's time to lay out all of my pieces. First I started with the basket shape and I added that little plain square in that bottom corner and my white strips that are two and a half by six and a half go on each side. Thank you. 
The first few half square triangles here that are surrounding that basket are sort of pointing down towards the basket and then the last four half square triangles are pointing sort of towards each other. They are going a different direction and that gives a little movement and then I have one little half square triangle left over for my next quilt block. After making that first block, I made three more baskets to make that little basket quilt that I'm working on. And for two of the baskets, I used a different red fabric. So once I get all of my blocks together, I will put all of the May baskets together. And then I'm thinking about hand quilting this small quilt. It's Nice when you have a small quilt to work on your hand quilting stitches and it that really doesn't take as long as you would think. So I'm dreaming about how I might quilt this.
I have all my baskets together now and next up I will be making a quilt sandwich and I still have to decide how I'm going to quilt this beautiful little quilt. I'm looking forward to making some of those decisions. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.